Today's Morning Minute, Kingdom Living Key. And we read in Luke, we read in Luke 13, uh, verse 24. He said to them, make every effort, make every effort to enter through the narrow door because many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to. And then 1 Corinthians 4, verse 1, let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ and stewards, stewards of the mysteries of God. The mysteries of God are hidden from the religious and the thieves. They cannot see or hear God. They're trying to break into and get at the secrets and mysteries of God. This is why Jesus spoke in parables. Some people hear, some people hear, but don't understand. They see, but do not perceive. They live by tradition. They live by tradition and doctrine rather than the living word of God. Thus, and we read in Mark 7, verse 13, thus you nullify the word of God by your tradition, by your tradition that you have handed down and you, and you do many things like that. And we read in, in uh, Galatians chapter 1, verse 11 and 12, I want you to know, and this is so powerful, I want you to know, brothers, that the gospel I preached is not something that man made up. I did not receive it from any man, nor as I taught it. Rather, I received it. I received it by revelation from Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit living in the born-again believer is the key, is the key that unlocks the spiritual door into the kingdom of God. Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. God is standing at the door ready, waiting for you to open the spiritual door. He wants, you to, he wants to give you all, all his good and pleasing gifts through the Holy Spirit. He wants you to receive his gift of righteousness. These mysteries are stored up for his children. They are not revealed to those who have not been grafted into his family through the blood of Jesus Christ. These gifts are delivered when the Spirit of God is invited into your heart. The Spirit of God is revealed as you study his word and spend time seeking him. Revelation and understanding of God comes to those who seek him. This revelation often comes through your suffering and adversities. This revelation of him comes in your brokenness, in your brokenness. The mysteries of God are hidden from your sight and are revealed through his spirit working through you. Paul said it was not man that taught him, but the spirit and revelation of Jesus Christ, who is, teach, who is teaching you today. Lord, I invite your spirit to come into my life. Forgive me of my sin and of my sin of self-righteousness. Fill me with your Holy Spirit today. Guide and direct all my ways today. Lead me on the path of righteousness. Amen and amen.